Okay, so they quote Ezekiel 38. And you can see that what they're trying to do is say, here's a prophecy of Israel being surrounded by all of these nations that are going to attack Israel. Okay, that's what they're showing from Ezekiel 38 right there. And then what they bring up is, how do we know that this is actually Ezekiel 38 coming to fruition? And they say, because Israel needed to become a nation again, and the Jews need to be coming back in their land. And this began in 1948 when Israel was reborn. And then they conclude, so we know due to the fact that Israel is a nation again and the Jews are back in the land that we are in the latter of the last days and the end time players are coming into fruition. Ezekiel, starting with Ezekiel 37, actually, um, you have from verses 15 to 28, it's talking about the first coming of Christ. There is talking about the shepherd bringing everybody together. He's called my servant David. Of course, that refers to Christ. You can have a lot of uh, these figures uh, apply to the first coming of Christ or the second coming of Christ. The problem with um, the evangelicals is since they haven't understood that Israel is talking about the church, then they can't see Ezekiel 38 being the, the church that is surrounded. Now, why can I say this? Well, because Apocalypse 20 talks about Satan being loosed from his prison for, th for the thousand years he was in. Yeah. And what is, what is the thousand years? That's the church age. Yeah, we're living it. So, that's right. We're living in it. So at the end, in verse 3 of Apocalypse 20, it says he's going to be loosed for a little season. And then verse 8 says he's going to come out to the four corners of the world. Gog and Magog. Okay, wow. so it's not limiting it to just the Middle East. It says the four corners of the world. In other words, the whole world is going to um, be a victim of this onslaught of the devil who has now been loosed from his prison yeah. for the thousand-year period of the church. And this is when the apostasy comes. Yeah. This is when everybody turns away from the church, turns away from Christ.